All right, so for class this week, you're going to be using a BLAST search. BLAST is a basic local alignment search tool, which is an algorithm for comparing biological sequence information. So amino acid sequences, proteins, or nucleotides from DNA sequences uh, to a database. And in this case, we're going to be using the uh, database that the National Centers for Biotechnology Information has. Uh, so it's GenBank, and that is a place where all researchers who publish in our scientific papers have to deposit their data. So basically, this is one of the most comprehensive databases of nucleotide data and sequence data there is. So in class this week, we're going to be working on phylogenetic trees. And this information is something that we're going to use during class while we evaluate some hypotheses. So what I'd like for you to do is start by finding your name in this list here. And once you found it, go ahead and click on your sequence. And it should open up probably in the same window below potentially very, very slowly. In my case, I've got my sequence over here, so I'm going to photocopy or copy it. There we go. There's Sam's sequence. Each of you should see your names. Once you've copied your sequence, you're going to follow this link here to blast your sequence. So this brings us to a blast query. And you could put any sequence data in here. Obviously, there's just this chunk that you're going to search. What you want to do is paste your data here, make sure others is selected. Basically, others means that we're going to search all the data that GenBank has that isn't a mouse genomic transcript and that isn't a human genomic or uh, genomic data or transcript. We're going to go down here and we're going to look for highly similar sequences, which is called a megablast. If we were working with something that was really poorly known, if we were working with some sort of environmental data, we may want something that's more dissimilar or even just somewhat similar. But in this case, um, I, given the data that you've been using or that you've got access to, highly similar is, is a much better choice, partly because it's a lot faster. So we hit blast, it queries the database with literally millions of sequence data, and it comes back to us with a summary of our results. So what we he see here are the top 100 hits, and we see the degree to which those hits overline with our sequence. So the sequence that I submitted is just 270 base pairs, but some of the hits here cut off before 270. They may be very similar, but they're just not as long in terms of query coverage. So we're going to go down here and we're going to look to see um, what this looks like. So we've got a series of different, um, different predicted similarity or similar sequences. One of them here, the one that's at the top of your query, is actually the one that's most similar. What we see here is we've got a description of the sequence. The sequence is from Loxodonta africana. It is very, very similar. It's 100% uh, similar or 100% overlap with the query coverage, and that is 100% identical. And it's got an E value um, that's very, very small. We'll see what that means in a second. Now, suppose I don't know what Loxodonta is. Many of you probably don't. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click here. I'm going to go down and see. This just took me lower in the page. And I'm going to copy this scientific name because in your report, you're going to have to put in both the scientific name and the common name. So, copied that, going to another window. We're going to paste it there and search. The African elephant. All right, so what we've done is we've run a blast search, we've got a common name for it, and now you need to report out that information. So, just like last week, you're going to click go here. And that's going to bring up yet another window that will let you report the results from your BLAST search. So you'll put in your name, you're going to put in your sequence identification number. That's just going to be sequence 1, sequence 2, sequence 4, sequence 6. In this case, I don't have one. The most similar sequence description, um, just give me the scientific name. So that'll be what you googled. Most similar species, African elephant and the E value. Now this E value is a, a diagnostic for determining whether or not something's a good match. If something is smaller than 1 e to the minus 4, that means it's a really good match. In this case, our E value, and we have to go back up to the top for it, our E value is 8 e to the minus 138. So this is a really strong match. And so you're going to put all this in. You're going to put your sequence number there if you've got one. 
I don't have one because mine is a different sequence, and you're going to hit submit, and that's all you have to do this week.